I know I've done a lot of decluttering this year. This year has just been my year of decluttering, but I feel like every time I declutter, there's a few items that kind of become a chopping block list in my mind. And I think about them and then I wait a few months and a lot of times I've come to a conclusion about those items and that's why I'm able to do declutters again. And that's kind of happened this time. The first three items I just have a picture of, they are brushes I did not buy, but I got this little kit from my boyfriend's mom because she was gifted a bunch of BH Cosmetics brushes way back when, she found them in a closet. She's like, oh, I don't use these, but clearly you use makeup, do you want them? And I kept most of them, but there were three out of, I think, 13 or 14 that I just wasn't in love with the shape and the density, the type of brush they were. I knew I wasn't going to reach for them, so I added them to my stepmom's Christmas gift because she asked for some eyeshadow brushes and I got her a little kit, so I just threw those three brushes in there as well just to add a bit more because she wanted to play with some different brush shapes, wasn't sure what she wanted. Um, the next item on this list has been on a product regrets video in the past and it is the Flower Beauty Rouge Berry Lipstick. It is their cream formula, that's one of the main problems. Because a color like this, I want it to be matte, so I shouldn't have bought this. Um, it also was fragile and broke and I put it back in and it looks like this. And it's also a shade I never reach for, so I, I'm just ready to let, it, to let it go. It's not... It, it hasn't brought me joy. I just don't, I don't need it. So I'm moving on, I'm moving on. Um, and I have six eyeshadows I'm also letting go of. None of these shades inspire me or make me want to reach for them. These two circular pans are from the e.l.f. The New Classics palette. This one, I just need it to give me more punch. Need, I need it to give me something more, but it doesn't. And since it's not a shade that I absolutely love, I can't look past that. Um, this shade, I will reach for every other brown in my collection before I reach for this one. It's just a little bit too orangey and reddish for me to actually like how it looks on my eyes. Um, the four square pans are from the BH Cosmetics Avocado Toast Palette. This guy, a little bit too dark of a shimmer for me to want to wear it in the lid. And it's just not the type of shade. It's a little bit too light to be an eyeliner and it's not the type of shade that I would love to reach for to do like a lower lash line sparkle. It's just not the undertone that I love on me. Um, similar issue with this shade. If I want to do a greenish cool tone color on my lid, I want it to be mint like what's on my eyes right now. I wore it the other day and it just didn't, I didn't like it. It was too bright green. It looks a bit more muted in the pan, but for some reason on my eyes, it just looked aggressively green and I, I was not having it. Um, so I don't, I don't need that. Speaking of aggressive greens, we got this Kelly Green. It's a matte shade, beautiful formula. Never once have I wanted a Kelly Green on my eyes or in my clothes or really anything. So unless if I wanted the Alphaba, I think I'm gonna pass on that one. And then this last one is kind of a blackened base with a shimmery olivey brown as a shift. A, just not a shade I really want. I If I want olive, I want it to be green. The olivey browns often look weird on me. I have one and I think that's all I need. I don't need the rest. I never reach for them. I don't have many outfits that would look good with them. Especially because I feel like the tones don't look the best on me. So I just... I'm not in love with any of these colors and the formula this one was kind of meh so I'm saying goodbye to those I'm gonna give them see if my sister wants them with that little magnetic palette I gave her with all the dupes I have basically just add them to see if she wants to play with these colors again most of the time it's not the the formula that I hate it's just the colors not for me so you know maybe she'll play with it and be like oh I like Kelly Green occasionally or just have fun at home but the thing is I take space in my magnetic palettes and I don't have a ton of magnetic palettes and it just it's, it makes it difficult to organize them when I feel like I had to fit shades in every spot I can or else not all of them will fit. So I would just like to clear up a little bit of space 
so that it is easier for me to organize my eyeshadows and a little bit more pleasant for me to create fun eye color stories. So that is everything. I think that is 10 products in total that I'm decluttering and it feels good to just let go of things that I do not want. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed and I hope that you have an amazing day. Bye!